journey through his eyes calves star chronicles come back. Isaiah Thomas knows he can't control where his underdog story goes next. Does he come back better than ever from the hip injury that forced him off the floor back in May, when his Boston Celtics fell in the conference finals to the very Cleveland Cavaliers team that would trade for him less than three months later? Does he get sweet revenge with LeBron James at his side, maybe even beating Kiri Irving's Celtics in a conference finals rematch that leads to his first chance to win it all? Oh, that would be lovely, he says with a laugh. That would be a special moment. If they make it there, and we make it there, and then we clash, it would make for rich NBA theater, the very kind, that Thomas is already proving quite capable of producing. Literally. The 28-year-old launched his pet project today on the Players' Tribune platform, a doku series deemed the Book of Isaiah 2, that was shot by his close friend, filmmaker T.J. Regan, and will chronicle the time between those 2017 playoffs and present day. Each episode will feature behind-the-scenes footage of what has been a challenging and emotional time on the personal and professional fronts. From the April death of his 22-year-old sister, China, in a one-car accident on a highway not far from their hometown in Tacoma, Washington to the late August trade that he never saw coming, Thomas has been reminded that control is hard to come by in life. But the telling of his story, as Thomas sees it, belongs to him. I've been documenting my journey since my junior year of college at the University of Washington, Thomas, the 5'9", two-time All-Star who went from being the 60th pick of the 2011 draft to fifth in MVP voting last season, told USA Today Sports by phone. When it comes down to it, I'm going to make a movie of my story. And he'll do it by way of his production company that has such a fitting name. This series marks the beginning of Thomas's slow grind media, which has been in the works since those pre-NBA days when he was dominating for the Huskies. Before Thomas entered the draft, he noticed some of Regan's work with rap artists and decided to track him down. Before long, they were fast friends who had a shared vision. Year after year, from Sacramento to Phoenix to his Boston breakout and now the Cleveland chapter, they've been stockpiling footage with high-end equipment for what has already become quite a tale. This, in a way, is merely a glimpse of what's to come. Regan is the guy behind the camera and did everything on his own until they partnered with Players' Tribune late in the process, said Thomas, who has two young sons with his wife, Kayla. But me and my wife thought of the project last year, last summer, about documenting from the end of a season to the start of a season to show the world what the grind is really like, whether that be the family grind, whether that be me being with my kids each and every day, taking them to their sports activities, being a father, being a husband, also being a family man, visiting my mom and my dad and my sisters and my siblings and things like that. And then on top of that, I've still got to work and get better. To say the least. By this time next month, Thomas is hoping to be in the final stages of a recovery process that has been, well, the slowest of grinds. After Thomas initially hurt his right hip in March, he played through the pain until re-aggravating the injury in Game 6 of the Eastern Conference semifinals against Washington and eventually succumbing to the season-ending injury after Game 2 of the conference finals against the Cavs. The rehab process started from there, with the Celtics announcing in late July that he would not undergo surgery. On August 22, as Thomas kept making his way back, and amid so much uncertainty about when he might be able to play again, Boston sent him to Cleveland along with Jay Crowder, Antti Zizek, and a 2018 first-round pick via Brooklyn, in exchange for Irving. Or so we thought. After Thomas took his standard physical with the Cavs, team officials had enough concern about his hip to put the deal on hold for eight days. Eventually, after Boston sent a 2020 second rounder to sweeten the Cavs' pot and the worries dissipated enough to get the deal done, he was officially James' new co-star. Yet all along the way, Thomas grew tired of the speculation about what it all meant and whether he could ever be the same player. 
Being without basketball was tough enough without all the doom and gloom prognostications, especially considering Thomas had never had to miss this sort of extended stretch. And yet again, he was reminded of why, in his story, it's his voice that matters most. When it first 